we're right in the heart of winter steelhead and it is time to make some sense of the sense you're using for winter steelhead there are so many different kinds out there i wanted to just go through a little bit for you and showcase really where they apply and how you can utilize that for your efficient and effective winter steelhead season because it's time to get out there we got over a foot of snow this last week this is some fun fishing to go and do you can see it behind me let's get out there have some fun showcase what it's all about fish on let's dive right into this and go through all these assortments because there's truly a lot to go into this not complicated but let's talk about it we have everything from water soluble sprays to wax to gel like a paste classic smelly jelly another kind of paste thicker liquid and then actual oils when you're talking scents for winter steel it especially you want to keep things at least in my preference to shrimp anise squid and sand shrimp i mean it's all about the threes if you want to call it shrimp squid and anise you really can't go wrong with those in any kind of sort of combination because they all have different ways you can use them different applications and really can help you out by changing up the scent from others around you now why i wanted to do this video is because of the importance of seeing the difference of what's there because if you look at these they each have a different consistency of the actual application of, and the way these are made I mean, this scent spray is designed to be water soluble and work on jigs. It'll work on beads. It'll work on really anything, but this is something that we didn't have five, 10 years ago where we could apply it to materials that would otherwise get messed up. If you put oil on marabou, that would ruin your jig. Now you can spray this, have scent on a jig and not affect the action. this almost like a chapstick application which brings me back to my favorite was those anise um, and sporting chapstick scents but it's a similar deal this you can apply to hard baits you can apply it to your favorite beads your spoons your plugs really awesome in a mess free application that's why i really have come to fond on these two right here now this next one is recently new from Potsky. The fire gel itself is a liquid paste that really lasts. You don't need much, just a little dab on your finger and that sucker will work great on your beads. It'll work great on worms, just the same as smelly jelly. It's a really effective paste application. And then you have the bottled scents like this Lunker Lotion, which is a thicker liquid and works really good for, again, beads, worms, something you want to hold on to scent a little bit longer. Your oils, like the shrimp there, that is going to be more suited for your actual bait um, because oil will just run right off in the water. You can utilize that in bait cures, soak up your yarnies in that, maybe even put it on some of your... Um, soft bead eggs ahead of time so it absorbs scent same with worms but guys there are applications there like this that can really help you on the water so let's uh, showcase a little bit of what i mean on applying this to something like a bead setup so soft plastics in general are a perfect example where some of these can really shine and help you out that spray will really work with all applications where the bait wax really works good on jig heads hard baits beads um your paste scents like the fire gel or your smelly jellies will really work well in these applications where you got worms soft beads it holds on to it for a long time and you can fish the whole day with one application same thing with this stickier thick liquid works really well on the plastics where Again, you come back to your oils, 
that's going to be more bait and yarn applications where it holds on to and absorbs the material and it doesn't just automatically wash right off so i hope that's helpful showcasing a little bit more on those let's keep going well i hope you like that guys thank you so much for joining us on this video that's just a tidbit of what it is because at the end of the day your preference ends up being confidence at the more you use it so if you have confidence in a certain scent if you have confidence in a certain way to do it keep it up that's the beauty of fishing in general but winter steelhead if you stick to those three scents shrimp squid and anise you ain't gonna go wrong just gotta find them tight lines guys fish on